hello everyone welcome in this video let us solve this equation so we have root t over t is equal to root 7 and here what to solve for the value of t so t is the unknown we are looking for now to solve for t solution solution the question is root t over t is equal to root 7 now there are two ways to solve this okay two method by which we can solve this equation okay so the first method is that we can rewrite this equation in the form of root t over t is equal to root 7 now root 7 can be written as over 1 with this we can then simply cross multiply such that 1 will multiply root t and 2 multiply root 7 now 1 times root t is equal to root t is equal to t times root 7 is t okay t root 7 now with this the next thing is to remove the square root and to remove the square root we are going to square the both sides of the equation in this manner so in bracket root t all squared is equal to in bracket t root 7 all squared so square will cancel square root t stands alone is equal to now we have this right here 2u root 7 all squared okay now if you have a b all squared this is equal to the square open the bracket so that you have a square then times b square so applying this principle to this this will become okay square open the bracket also you you have t squared then times in bracket root 7 all squared okay good so with this we have t is equal to t squared times square we cancel square root we are left with 7 times 7 okay so then solve this further this then becomes t is equal to t squared times 7 is 7 t squared okay at this junction we can then move this t to this other side of the equation such that here becomes zero and if plus t crosses the equality sign it becomes minus t now we're going to have zero is equal to 70 squared then plus t crosses the equality sign it becomes minus t now we are arranging this we have it as 70 squared minus t is equal to zero and here we have a common factor which is t now factorizing out t bringing out t so 70 squared divided by t is equal to 70 then minus t divided by t is equal to 1 all of this is equal to 0 with this we have it as t is equal to 0 or 70 minus 1 is equal to 0 now we've gotten the first solution for the value of t okay though we are still going to confirm if this value of t as zero is the correct value for t that will satisfy the given equation okay but then moving on let us then solve for the other value of t from this other equation so looking at the second equation which is 70 minus 1 is equal to zero now move minus 1 to the other side of the equation what we have is 70 is equal to if minus 1 crosses the equality sign it becomes plus 1 to then solve for t divide both sides by the coefficient of t which is 7 so over 7 over 7 7 we divide 7 t stands alone so t is equal to 1 over 7 now this is the first method by which you can get the value of t okay so the second method by which you can get the value of t now i said we have two method okay so the second method the equation is root t over t is equal to root 7 for the second method okay to solve this right we're going to bring in a principle that if you have root a root a is equal to a raised to power half so applying this principle to this right here this then becomes t raised to power half over t is equal to root 7 now this t right here has a power which is power 1 okay and looking at this there's a rule in it. this is that if you have a raised to power n over a raised to power m this is equal to a raised to power n minus 1 so applying this principle to this what you're going to have is that we're going to have it as t raised to power half then 
what is to power minus one okay following this principle is equal to root seven now let's solve this fraction power right here so we have one over two minus one now one also is written as one over one with this right look for the common lcm of two and one the common lcm of two and one is two so over two now two we divide two you have one one times one is one minus two we divide one you have two two times one is two now one minus two is equal to minus one over two such that half minus one is equal to minus half so t raised to power minus half is equal to root 7 okay so solving this further right so solving this further we're going to eliminate the square root right here and to eliminate the square root we're going to square the both side of the equation so in bracket t raised to power minus half then squared is equal to in bracket root 7 all squared 2 we divide 2 we have it as t raised to power what is left here is minus 1 is equal to square we cancel square root we are left with 7 okay to then solve 14 okay right you have t raised to power minus 1 now there's a principle that if you have a raised to power minus 1 this is equal to 1 over a so applying this rule to this this then becomes 1 over t is equal to 7 and 7 can be written as 7 over 1 so with this you can then simply cross multiply so that 1 times 1 is 1 is equal to t times 7 is 7 t. To then solve for t, divide both sides by 7 over 7. So 7 we divide 7, we have it as t is equal to 1 over 7. Now we've gotten the values of t. Okay, so from the first method, which we got two values of t, the first one is t is equal to 0 and the second one is t is equal to 1 over 7 and for the second method we got the value of t to be 1 over 7 now let's confirm if the values of t that we've gotten will satisfy the given equation so let's check it out okay so let's check the first value of t is equal to 0 the second value of t is equal to 1 over 7 and this value of t as 1 over 7 was gotten from the first and second method right now back to the equation the equation is root t over t is equal to root 7 now using this first value of t as 0 okay I'm putting the value of 0 into the equation so root t then becomes 0 over t then becomes 0 is equal to root 7 so we this give us the value to be root 7 now root 0 is 0 over 0 and we this give us 7 now 0 over 7 is undefined right is undefined and it is not equal to root 7 so that means that the value of t equals to 0 does not satisfy the given equation okay let's then try this other value of t as 1 over 7 okay so working on that we have it as okay so the equation is root t over t is equal to root 7 now i'm using the value of t as 1 over 7 and putting it over here we're going to have it as root t is then 1 over 7 then divided by t is 1 over 7 so 1 over 7 with this equal root 7 question mark okay then solving this further there's a rule that if you have root a over b this is equal to root a over root b so applying this principle to this this then becomes root 1 over root 7 then divided by 1 over 7 so with this equal root 7 solving this what you have is that okay root 1 is 1 over root 7 right then divide into times 7 comes up 1 comes down so times 7 over 1 with this equal root 7 7 times 1 is 7 over 1 times root 7 is root 7 with this equal root 7 okay so solving this what you have is that we can um, then rationalize the denominator 
So what do I mean by that? I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 7. So that will become 7 times root 7 over root 7 times root 7. With this equal root 7. Okay, question mark. Now solving this, right? 7 times root 7 is 7 root 7 over root 7 times root 7 is root 49. Root 49 will give us 7 with this equal question mark to 7. Now 7, we divide 7. What you have is root 7 is equal to root 7. So with this, right, we got the correct answer. So that means that the value of t that we got as 1 over 7 is the correct value. Okay, I hope you all learned one or two. Don't forget to like the video, share the video to your friend, and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe right now. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.